Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Two Eras, and today we're continuing our sun and moon climb. I don't know if it's a climb or what you call it, but we're ranking the best sun and moon era sets. Today we got set number three. It is Burning Shadows, which could potentially be, other than Cinnamon Base, maybe Cosmic Eclipse, one of the most overprinted sets in the Sun and Moon era. Maybe Detective Pikachu could probably fit into that because there was so much of that product out there for a very long time. I guess Crimson Invasion probably got overprinted too, but so I gotta tell you guys, uh, and it, there, there's one reason why, and you'll find out here in a little bit, but this set was released on August 4th, 2017. It came about almost two months after the Japanese counterpart, the third set that came out in Japan. This set is 177 cards. In these videos, we're going to be ranking things not based on playability like we did in the Sword and Shield era because we don't got any play metrics anymore, but we do have desirability, value, and pull rates to kind of distinguish which set is the best set. There's so many good sets in Sun and Moon, though, especially some of those later ones, but this one has some value. In the very first maybe six sets... I'm talking base sets, not specialty sets. This one holds a lot of value, and it's because of one specific card. This set came with Ho-Oh, Darkrai, and Charizard GX. This is your first time that you can ever in your whole life, because remember, Sun and Moon started the rainbow craze, have a rainbow rare Charizard, which obviously, it brought all the milkshakes uh, it, it, yeah, it brought it, the, the milkshake of Charizard brought all the boys and girls to the yard because everybody wanted to drink from the milk the Charizard provided in the Sun and Moon era because the, the, for some reason, everybody loves Charizard so much. So Charizard always brings value. And it, it's funny because Darkness of Blaze tried to do this as well where, you know, Pokemon, third set, boom, slip a Charizard in there, try to hold some value. However, this one, you know, wasn't as sought out i mean it still has value it's the most expensive card in darkness of blaze but it feels like every third set so i i'm gonna expect the pokemon card company to release charizard in the third scarlet and violet set i don't think there's a charizard in set two which just came out in japan uh, recently so we'll find out but now that we're here, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about pull rate data because that's really important when you're rating a set. Uh, these This information has been provided by pokey-displays.de. Thank you so much to them uh, for giving us any information because it's hard to find information on these older sets specifically. And you know what? Let me kind of zoom out a little bit. So secret rares, by the way, there's only one golden fairy energy card which can be had in sun and moon burning shadows secret rares are one in 108 which is actually down from the very first two sets rainbow rares are one in 64 which is very much down almost the lowest rainbow rare pull rate in the era for sun and moon not the lowest but one of the lowest Ultra Rares, 1 in 25, that's about standard. GX cards, 1 in 9, that's the standard as well. So, interesting, interesting statistics here. Uh, you, you start to see, it. it's interesting. I mean, there's no, there's no ands, ifs, or buts about it. Let's talk, let's go look at the value of the set. Since we're talking Charizards and everything, you know, I, everybody loves Charizard. Let's take a look at here. So, the... Rainbow Rare Sun and Moon Burning Shadows Charizard GX is has a market value of $407.49. The price continues to increase. It is a very hot commodity. This card alone is worth more than Sun and Moon base combined and almost has enough to beat out Guardians Rising and is more valuable than the set that you'll we'll talk about next week, which is Crimson Invasion. It's a very, very valuable card. Let's just put it that way. We also got Arcerola, which is a, a very, very nice trainer card. $50 value. That's pretty good. The only gold fairy energy card, 
Rest in peace to Fairy Energy. $49. Escape Rope. You can still use this in play. $48 is the market price, but you can see there there's only three listings. $80 is kind of where the market might be going up on this card. You got the uh, Secret Rare Darkness Energy, which is $31. Uh, there is Wick, which is $29 market value. You got the Dark Rye Rainbow, $21. The rescue stretcher. You can see, like, there's some good value here. You could get these fire energies and put them in your fire decks. These are still very playable. That Charizard GX legendary card. Uh, it's a beautiful. It's, it's, it's a it's a classic card for sure. That Machamp Rainbow, very nice Gardevoir. They actually, you know, they threw some Gen One Pokemon in here, and it, you'll you'll notice Pokemon likes to do that sometimes. This uh, Loan Muck, which is really really dope. Stand alone, like I love, I love Alone Muck. Beautiful, beautiful card. Very, very nice. That Ho -Oh GX full art, beautiful. You can see th there's still some value in some of these cards. Five, six dollars. I mean, it, it does drop off, but there's still, you know, cards about as valuable as a pack of cards back then, still today. But then after that, you see page two. It's just that's it. Like that. That's the end. So some value. Definitely probably the top 10 cards in that set have some pretty decent value, but then there's a lot of cards in that set that don't have very much value at all. So let's go ahead and open up some Burning Shadows, ladies and gentlemen. We got another three-pack blister. We may not get three-pack blisters from every card. Uh, I've been looking around, and I'm having a struggle to get the team up three-pack blister, and I'm having a struggle. I don't think they made a... I believe it's Ultra Prism, I don't believe came in three pack blisters. I don't remember, or Celestial Storm. One of those, I can't find it. Uh, I could find two of the three packs in a blister, but not all three of them. So we're. I'm gonna look around, see what I can figure out and find. We'll get something though, we'll, we'll get some equivalent. I wanna, I, I want tampering. I hate when people waste stuff, so I'm trying to prevent that from happening. So we got the Alone Meowth, beautiful, beautiful card. It looks like mine has a little swirl on it. And uh, you got this Metagross coin, which I think comes in a lot of these Sun and Moon sets. And uh, we got three packs. I think that's what, Tapu something. Tapu something in there. So we're going to open this baby up. Got, got our good, good, good friend. Look at that. ho oh, in the back. Give your collection a boost. With Burning Shadows, a special holographic promo card, a cool coin, and a code for TCG Online. <laughs> Fiery battles and deep shadows. What strange fires lurk in the shadows? <laughs> oh my god. Minions of Team Skull and a cavalcade of new Pokemon stand ready to battle in the dark of night. In the blazing sun, slug it out with new titans like Nakazoma GX, I don't even know how to say it, or Marshadow GX, Tapu Fini, or battle with the trusty allies like Machamp and Charizard and Darkrai and Ho-Oh. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Burning Shadows. The set came out, by the way, 2017. So, not too long ago. I mean, six years ago. Your boy already forgetting what year it is. I feel old now. Here we go. Boom and boom. Let's see if how this promo card looks. I feel like sometimes these promo cards get really janked up, especially because they've been around for so long in some storage unit, I'm sure, that somebody was holding. I bought all of these, uh, you know, there's some... Verified sellers around the internet. It's a nice little coin there. Take a look at this Meowth. Very interested to see uh, condition-wise how it looks. This is beautiful. I love the cosmic pattern. I'm going to tell you guys over and over again. Very, very nice. As far as condition goes, yeah, look at that. Screwed up on the corner right there, but I'm going to take it and be happy with it. We'll see if we get any pulls, but at worst, we got this beautiful promo card. This is uh, Sun and Moon promo card number 43. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we actually got a, um, what is that, Marsh, Marsh Tom or Marsh Tom or Marshmallow. All right. Woo! You hear that noise, ladies and gentlemen? And we actually, uh, what is, is Sun and Moon 3? I think it's 3, right? Might be 4. It might be 4. I might be missed up here. All right, that's okay, though. We got a, oh, ladies and gentlemen. We got something back there. Oh boy, I remind I, I am reminded of that pattern. We got a Lunatone, a Stuffle, an Inke, a Duskull, a Tynemo, 
a cutie fly. Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen. We got a Mudsdale reverse hollow. And we got a Nakrazoma GX. This is a off centered by a lot. This is a potentially error driven here. This is so funky. I like it. I like it. I'm 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 excited about it. It's pretty it's pretty gank. Alright. We got two more packs. I forget that the uh it looks very rainbow-esque. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Alright, so it's four packs in the back. Um Burning Shadows, boom. That's that's a pretty good hit there. Alright. Let's see if we can get uh something crazier. Let's see if we can get something crazier here. Here we go. Got that metal energy. That uh Rombi. Right? Rombi? So rock. Crow gunk. That's a really dope crow gunk, honestly. I like the uh it's like he's in the city. Magikarp. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Magikarp's in the set. It's gotta be 10 out of 10, right? Meowth walking around. Wimpod. Togedomaru. That's a nice Lucario. And we got another. We got another GX card. We got a a low and muck. We just talked about how we like a low and muck. And uh we got two. This is one in nine pack pulls. We got two of them. I expect we're not going to get any more hits after getting two of these cards. We got two GX cards here. We probably ain't getting any more hits here. This is, we're, we're just going to say it right now. We probably ain't getting any more hits. That is uh, one of the coolest, happiest looking glooms I've ever seen. That Arcerola, Wishful, Baton, Dupider. That's a really cute cutifly. I'm not going to lie to you guys. The Riolo. That uh, Alone Grimer. Noibat, definitely a classic. That Crawl Brawler looks really good. I love the reverse patterns in these sets. And we got a Shinotic. So very, very nice. We got two really decent pools. I mean, I know they're not, they don't have a lot of value. We're just going to say that right now. They don't, they're not, you know, worth like a crazy ton of money. I mean, I think those are probably like a dollar or two dollar cards. Most likely. I'm not sure. I know we're, we're losing money for sure opening these things up. But we're having fun doing it. It's fun to kind of go back and look. So yeah, that, uh, the Narca whatever the heck is worth two dollars on the market value. And then the muck is worth 169 that's not bad though i mean I'm, I'm i'm gonna take it and be happy with it these are packed fresh smell fresh look fresh i'm happy i told you guys i love low and muck so i am absolutely pleased and we got two other reverse hollow rares we got the mudsdale and the lucario which you know eventually i mean reverse hollows get kind of thrown around don't throw your reverse hollows around. Keep them like in a good spot, man. I'm telling you guys, those cards can have some value someday. So don't be, you know, just tossing them wherever. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up. Uh, let me know what you think about Burning Shadows as potentially the top set in the Sun and Moon era. So far, so in these videos, I think this is the best set that we've gone through but there are so many more sets that we're going to continue to go through that i have a feeling that we'll we'll, we'll run into something crazier until the next video we're going to be reviewing and talking about crimson invasion in the next video i love you guys thank you so much for watching this video until the next one have a fantastic rest of your day tell somebody something nice because it could be the only nice thing that they hear all day all month all week mental health awareness is incredibly incredibly important uh if you could also leave a thumbs up but definitely Leave a comment if you have some commentary. It helps the channel out. And if you could do me a big favor, click on one of the two videos on my mo my left and right, right hand side. There might be something you like. Until the next one, have a fantastic rest of your day and week and month. Whatever you're watching this video, I love you. Bye-bye.